Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going today? So this is the 26th of July on Monday. So new week has been started and this is going to be the last week for the month of July. So I see one of the pairs are trending right now. So I will cover that one. And especially I see that uh, there is a divergence on scale six in five minute chart. So I will talk about how I capture the divergence as one of the confirmations for entry chance. The divergence hasn't happened yet, but uh, I expect that it's going to be happening anytime soon. So um, I think that it's a good time to talk about it. So this is, video is about the divergence for today. So before staying here, just a quick disclaimer. This information today is um, based on my own ex experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do within risk management. So Mondays, usually the markets are uh, very quiet, but uh, looks like one pair is trending nicely, and which is pound AUD. So I have posted my analysis on the trading view. So uh, if you can just come to Forex of first K hyphen official and scroll down and you can see my analysis here. And uh, simply speaking, this is bullish as per Ichimoku. The Kumo is right now uptrending. You can see the Senko Span B is up and Senko Span A is angle up right now. And uh, Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen both upwards and Chikou Span above the candle. So this is bullish trend, bullish market. So we can look at the lower time frames and look for the buying edge. You never sell in this case because this is bullish and I am a trend follower. So I always look for the bullish market. Sorry, I just realized myself that the, uh, my face is like full screen, so let me squeeze my face, sorry. Okay, there you go. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, I wasn't realized myself that the, uh, my screen, my face is on the full screen. So, so here is a chart for uh, pound AUD. Once again, uh, in the daily chart, the Kumo, you can see the Kumo is up right now. Senko Span B is up and A is up. And uh, Kijun Sen is up and Tenkan Sen is pointing upwards. And Chikou Span above the candles. So this is a stable uptrend as per Ichimoku five lines. I have analyzed this uh, chart here to buy. And since then, the market has been still bullish. So uh, this is actually growing bullish right now. And one thing to note is that the, uh, this is not about Ichimoku, but uh, the key level is at 1.8763. Because if you scroll all the way back to the, to the past, there is a resistance here and a support. So in the market is reaching to that level, almost reached that level, 1.8736. So it might retrace backwards. But uh, in this case, I expect the market breaks. Even if it retraces or consolidates, the market can break. And it gonna, it's going to move all the way up to the next potential target, which is going to be at 1.8986 level. This is actually another resistances and supports here. So that will be the ultimate target in this uptrend. So um, let me switch it to the real movie market and um, talk about the divergence. So daily chart is uptrending and I confirm this uptrend by mid time frame. So I look at the one hour chart and one looks to be flat right now. We see flat Kumo. Uh, Kumo is up technically, but Kijun Sen is flat. So when you see Kijun Sen flat, the market can retrace backwards to Kijun Sen potentially. So um, yeah, we have to wait until the Kijun Sen points up, or we can also look at the 30 minute time frame. And if you see 30 minute time frame, this is bullish now. You have the Kumo bullish, Senko Span A is bullish, and Kijun Sen is pointing upwards, and Tenkan Sen even pointing upwards too, and Chikou Span above the candles. So this is a nice confirmation for its bullishness. So um, let me go down to the five minute chart and talk about the divergence because stochastic divergence uh, is actually my favorite and this is a very powerful confirmation 
when it's trending in higher time frames. So right now, in UTC time zone, this video is captured at 11 a.m. in UTC time zone. So um, the market is a bit ranging right now, but uh, I can see that there is a potential bullishness from here. Uh, the only thing we find so far is the Bollinger Band squeeze and the market is just ranging up and downwards. But if you see the stochastics here, stochastics itself is going which direction? It's going downtrend. Stochastic person K person D are both pointing downwards. But if you see the price itself, it's flat. It's kind of sideways. So this is actually a type of divergence. So once you find the stochastic gold cross happen, sometime near future, then um, you will see the market breaks. Market goes up this way in five and breaks the most recent high in the daily chart, which is at 1.8753 level. So, together with the squeeze Bollinger Bands and also uh, uh, this uh, uh, divergence with stochastics, if I see one more confirmation, then I will enter the trade, enter buy. And it might be after the market breaks the resistance, and uh, or it might be at the resistance breakout or the uh, Fibonacci bounce. If the market goes up on this way, direction, an end wave, then I can see the Fibonacci bounce here too, or the Canada trend line breakout, and then that would be a great buy chance. So what I'm waiting for right now is simply waiting for the scarcity gold cross to happen. So um, uh, yeah, we're not sure exactly what time it happens, but uh, in this condition, I can see that the, uh, it can happen anytime soon. So once again, in this condition, daily chart, as we saw earlier, is bullish, and also 30 minute time frames also bullish. So this is where we can look for the buy chance. And in this example, I found a nice divergence of stochastics, and uh, that's what I actually look for. And also, you can draw the line too. You can draw the trend line, um, like in this way. And you can see uh, multiple supports, previous resistance became support too. So um, in this condition, the market can gradually go up along with this support line. That's also possible. And at some point, you see gold cross or scarcities with this divergence signal here. So actually this is uh, one of the ways I find the divergence and I thought that this is a good timing to talk about this on this real moving market today. So yeah, that's uh, my analysis and also my way of looking at the chart. So today, unfortunately, I have to go uh, outside and most likely I will come back to home at night time, so this is the video session. But I uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video session and uh, I will see you in the next one. Looks like the market is trending right now. We have some trends. Last week we saw some trends on JPY and Euro pairs and USD were also active too. Then this week we have uh, FOMC in the US and also a uh, policy meeting and ECB, uh, Euro. So, uh, we might have some active Euro and USC pairs. So, yeah, anyhow, good luck everyone, and I will see you on the next one. So, stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Oops, hold on. All right. Okay. Matane, everyone. Thank you.